Good morning. It's Monday, February 28th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, A Day of Rest, in our scriptures, Exodus chapter 35. Then Moses called together the whole community of Israel and told them, These are the instructions the Lord has commanded you to follow. You have six days each week for your ordinary work, but the seventh day must be a Sabbath day of complete rest, a holy day dedicated to the Lord. Anyone who works on that day must be put to death. You must not even light a fire in any of your homes on the Sabbath. When it comes to chilling out or relaxing, the whole idea of following the rules seems rather an oxymoron. How do you alertly follow each detail when you're busy escaping working at anything? And how can you rest if you're busy following the rules? Well, my dog, Welly, understands being at rest. He is a world-class lazy bones. The little man could sleep through a tornado. God chose the rhythm of cycles. Part of that rhythm is one day out of seven dedicated exclusively to the Lord. Sabbath is a Hebrew word meaning rest. It means to be restorative in the same way vacation or day off has the purpose of regaining strength that's been expended in the everyday tasks of life. That the Jewish community took Sabbath seriously can hardly be debated. Being put to death for taking a Saturday morning shift at work, that doesn't restore anything. The question becomes, if Sabbath is so important and recognized as valuable for well-being, health, and wholeness, why do so many people ignore it? Perhaps my dog can teach us an important lesson of Sabbath-keeping. Willie's interests are centered on sniffing and munching. When we walk with him in a park, it's mostly waiting for him to finish sniffing every pole, tree, park bench, and square inch of anything else. If sniffing to see what other dogs may have crossed the path is like reading the newspaper, Welly's brand of sniffing is more like doing research for a doctoral degree. He's never done. But it is his interest that drives him to sniff unendingly. The other half of Mr. Wellington's life's work is food. He has, as previously noted, a finely tuned sense of smell. Added to that gift is a sense of hearing worthy of a submarine's sonar and radar. The difference being a sub's detection is for the danger of any enemy vessels, while Welly's nose and ears are more infallible than a King James Bible to detect a morsel of food anywhere. He can pretend he doesn't hear me just as well as any other child who doesn't want to come in from playing just yet, but he can hear the crinkle of a potato chip bag being opened 10 miles down the road. By comparison, an open Bible, praise songs, prayer, those don't hold the slightest bit of interest for my fur child. Food is what drives his attention. He loves to rest except when the possibility of eating or keeping track of other dogs is presented. But sometimes my dog is better at practicing Sabbath than I am, which is awkward for me. (laughs) After all, I always work on the Christian Sabbath day. And here I am about to encourage all of us to use Sunday for that day of rest. I'm sure God never intended for Sabbath to be a burden. Jesus even said Sabbath was made for man, not the other way around. It's the blessing of rest our bodies, minds, and souls crave. For you today, if you've filled every moment available with stuff that crowds out the kind of rest which can happen in worship, prayer, and fellowship, has it really been Sabbath? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.